this is a new flutter project and we are going to add firebase to it so you have to take a few steps before you can use any of the firebase services so first of all you have to download and install a tool called firebase cli command line interface using which you will be able to run different firebase commands you can find the firebase command line interface tool in on this page so i'll put a link to this page on the description so download the one appropriate for your system you can download and install using npm or you can download it as a standalone binary so we are going to follow this approach let's click on this link here to download the tool now once the file gets downloaded click on it and a terminal like this one will appear so it will take a few moments to configure a few things and then you will be able to execute firebase commands here so here in this case you will notice that i am already logged in this may be the same in your case too or if you don't get logged in automatically then you can run the command firebase login and you can select the accounts with which you want to log in and then you will be logged in to your firebase account on this terminal itself and once you log in you will be able to run different commands you will be able to view the list of projects in your firebase account you can execute firebase logout to log out from your account so if you run the command firebase projects list then you will find the list of projects that exist in your firebase account and you can log out from your firebase account by clicking by executing the command firebase logout and then you can log in using firebase log in so after installing firebase cli you have to log into your firebase account on your own firebase cli and then you have to install flutter fire cli using which you will be able to execute flutter fire commands the commands related to flutter plus firebase so for that we have to run a command after logging in you have to log in and then you have to run the command dart pub global activate flutterfire underscore cli now hit enter and let it install so once you execute this command you will the flutterfire cli will be installed and the installation directory will be displayed here on the terminal itself and you have to copy that path and you have to add it to the environment variables of your system to be able to execute the flutterfire commands from all of the directories So in Windows, you have to go to this and search for environment variables. Then you will find this. Then click on environment variables and inside you will find an environment variable named path. Click on it and then add a new path here. Paste the copied path of the installation directory of Flutterfire CLI. Close this and now close the terminal and if you reopen it and then you will be able to execute the flutter fire commands on the terminal from any directory now in order to proceed in order to add firebase with our flutter app we have to run one command flutter fire configure inside the directory of our project so as we have this project open in android studio we can simply open the terminal here and you notice that we are already inside the directory of our project so here we can execute the command flutter fire configure now this will show you the list of projects list of firebase projects that exist in your firebase account and you can use your arrow keys to move up and down and select one of these different options and you will be asked to select one particular firebase project to associate with your fire flutter app and at the end you will also have the option to create a new firebase project so for this example let us select that so move to our, move downwards and select this last option create a new project and press enter and you'll be asked to provide a unique id to your firebase project and here you have to be a little careful because this is unique this should be unique not among your firebase project this should be unique across all the firebase projects of the world so try to provide try to make it unique by adding some suffix some unique suffix so here i am adding a simple 
name but I'm hoping this is unique so DM shopping 2022 now let's press enter a new firebase project will be created and you'll be asked to select the platforms which you want to target so inside a firebase project we have to create firebase apps targeting the different platforms so if you want to create an android app and use firebase as the back and then inside your firebase project you have to create a an a firebase app for the platform android if you want to target ios then you have to create another firebase app inside your firebase project for the platform ios so here by default these two are selected android and ios and you will have the option of mac os and web to select you can move up and down using the arrow keys of your keyboard and you can use the space bar key to select or unselect a particular item so these two are selected let's keep them and press the key enter and two firebase apps inside our firebase projects will be created for android and ios so this step is complete and if you take a look at the lib folder of your flutter project you will notice a new file named firebase options dart has been added to this directory so this is a configuration related file and this is required for our flutter app to be able to communicate with the firebase app now if you open firebase console you will find the recently created project there so the project that we have created from the command line interface and if you click on it you will find the dashboard and there you will you will notice these two apps has been created one for android and uh, another for ios and here you will find the different options for the different services of firebase so you can use firebase database the firestore database for your for storing your data of the app you will find real-time database which is another way of storing data another database you'll find stories for storing files you will find authentication for authenticating users etc so we have created a firebase project we have created firebase apps and we have configured our app to interact with firebase but now before we can use any of the firebase services we have to initialize the initialize firebase in our app so for that first of all we have to add the plugin named firebase code this is required for any of the firebase services whether you use authentication or any other firebase services you have to use the specific plugins for those services for example you will need to use a plugin for authentication you will need a plugin called firestore for using the services of firestore but for before using any of this you have to add the firebase core library and you have to initialize firebase in your app so open terminal and first of all add the plugin called firebase underscore core for that you have to run the command flutter pop add and then firebase underscore core so this adds this dependency to your project you can also open the perspective.yml file and here you will notice this this dependency firebase core being added here after this command we have to run flutter fire configure once again so run flutter fire configure and select the app that we have created the project that we have created and press enter so this is to ensure that our configuration file is up to date with the changes now here inside the main.dart file first of all we have to import the package firebase core and we also have to import the configuration file which has been added to the lib directory firebase options dot dart and now inside main function before calling run app we are going to initialize firebase and for that we have to call a function named initialize app of the firebase class so call firebase dot initialize app and this function has a parameter named options we are going to provide a value to this function so we have to provide default firebase options dot current platform now this function is an asynchronous function so we have to use the keyword await here to wait for its completion before we call run app 
and to use await we have to mark the function as async with this keyword here and we are using the firebase apis the apis of firebase core library before calling run app so in such a case we may need to ensure that the the communication between the flutter framework and the flutter engine is established and we do that with help of the function ensure initialized of the class widget flutter binding so here at the top at widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized and now we are all set to start using the services of firebase so we have added firebase to our flutter app now we can use the different services provided by firebase from our flutter app we have to add the corresponding packages the plugins for the different services for example for authentication we have to use the package for authentication etc now you can go ahead and use the service that you want to use but if you want to verify let's do that if you if you want to verify whether this setup is working or not let us try to add the Cresolitics plugin and let us try to throw some exceptions from our app and verify whether the exceptions are passed to the to Firebase, whether we can see the exceptions inside Firebase or not. So for that, first of all, we have to open the terminal and we have to add the plugin Firebase Cresolitics to our Flutter app. So run this command flutter pub add and then the name of the plugin Firebase Cresolitics press enter so once this gets added run the command flutter configure to update the configuration file flutter fire configure select the app and then press enter and now we have to pass the errors of the framework to firebase for that open main.dart file here inside this main function we are going to make some changes we are going to update the callback function on error of the class flutter error with something from the firebase cresolitics package so we are going to assign firebase cresolitics dot instance and to be able to use this class you have to import this package here firebase cresolitics right and now we are going to pass firebase cresolitics dot instance dot record flutter fatal error to the callback function flutter error dot on error so this will pass all of the errors that occurs inside this framework inside the flutter framework to firebase now we are going to throw an exception from our app and we shall verify whether that gets recorded on firebase or not Now here inside this widget we have this floating action button and from the float on press function of the floating action button we are calling the function increment counter. Now for the time being instead of calling this function we are going to throw an exception when this button is pressed. So inside on press function let us add this statement throw and, and, and throw an instance of the class exception. Now let us run the app. And here I have opened the Firebase project on this window. And you will find the option Crystalitis under this section release and monitor. Click on it and then here you will find this message at this moment. That says app detected and we are waiting for a crash. So now we are going to tap on this floating action button which should create a crash. Because we are throwing an exception here. So let's tap on it and now here we can see a crash has been detected so with this we have added firebase to our flutter app and we have also integrated firebase cresolitis with our flutter app so now any any error that occurs inside the app will be reported or recorded on firebase cresolitis